What's up everyone, it's Mike from Flight Club. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add LEDs to your quad without using additional wire. So what I got here are these little LEDs. These are the race light LEDs and they're designed to go with these race light or race wire minis. So what happens is this LED just solders right onto the race wire right there and then it gets power from the motor wires just like this I've got my Neutron over here and I got the rear ones installed already so you can see there's no additional wire these are my um, antennas so it just gets power directly from the the motor wires so you don't have to run additional wires all over the place because normally if you want to run you know like four uh, LEDs on each arm you have to run power to them individually which could get kind of messy but I really like this way because it's really neat and it's really easy so let's just get started alright so I'm just gonna get one of these little race wire minis and then I'll put a one uh, solder or I'll, I'll pretend one of the solder joints alright so the good thing about this method is that um, you don't have to use any tape or anything tape or clips to hold the LED in place just put solder on one of the pads and then put your LED on top of it try to get it as straight as possible and then just tack it, tack one of the solder pads on there. Oops. And make sure it's straight. All right. So once you got it on there straight, you can put on the rest of the uh, the pads. So once you got it soldered, this is what it should look like. The, the LED should be on there flush and uh, the solder joints are all nice and neat. So the next thing we're going to do is just take a little piece of um, double sided tape and put it on the back of the race wire. This is very important because the back of the race wire is conductive and you need to keep it off the, um, off the carbon. And then you're just going to place the LED on the arm. But just make sure you have the the LED is a little offset. You see there's like more space over here. Just put the uh, LEDs closer to the motor. That way they're less likely to uh, get chopped up by the um, props. Alright, so remove that. And then I'm just going to place my LED on the arm. All right, so once I got my arm on here, I know exactly how much wire I need to cut on the motor wires. So once I got the motor wires cut, I'm just going to strip them and pre-tin them so I can solder them onto the race wire. So once you got it soldered up, you're done. That's what it looks like. It's nice and neat. It only took maybe, I mean, if I wasn't filming, it only took maybe five minutes to do one. Five minutes or less, actually. So I'm just going to do the uh, other one, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's all wired up. I really like how, how neat and clean these race lights are. There aren't any extra wires running all over the place. And on the race wires, I know I have them installed on the top, but there are little pads on the race wire to where if you want to wire additional um, LED on the back side or on the under underside of the arm, you can. You just connect the little, or you just connect the LEDs on these little extra pads here. All right, so I'll just show you kind of what they look like. So these race lights aren't like regular LEDs to where when you plug them in, plug in your power that they, they just light up. They only light up when the, the motors get um, power. So the more power the motors get, the brighter they get. Alright, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.